everyone. Welcome back into my kitchen, Cooking with Carol Diane. Today I'm going to cook um, some cookies. I haven't made some cookies in quite a little while, so I am going to make some cookies called Scotties. And such a simple little recipe, really. Um, so get you out a bowl <laughs> to begin with. Get you, uh, and I'm making these because my husband's going hunting this weekend. He's going deer hunting with his best friend. And I thought this would be kind of a treat to stick in whatever bag um, so they could snack on it. These are made with oatmeal. So when you're out in cold weather, it's kind of like a granola bar, only better because these are a cookie. And I think he will like that. I really do. So get out um, um, two sticks, which is one cup of butter. Make sure that your butter is either at room temperature or that it is softened. And mine is. So we'll just stick this in here right quick. And this cookie will come out to be a flat cookie, not a little raised cookie. But I am going to be adding, um, when I do my chocolate chip pudding cookies, I add the little pudding into the mix and I am gonna add just a little bit in, in here because um, I don't like that real greasy feeling on a cookie after you've held it, you know, or you've taken a bite and then you set it down and you've got all that butter, you know, all over your hands. And hopefully this won't do this on this recipe. So I hope everyone's having a grand day today. I've got a lot of baking kind of to do before company gets here tonight. I'm making a nice homemade apple pie for them and these cookies. And I put a roast in the crock pot. So I'm kind of set. I really am. Um, I'm kind of set for Thanksgiving coming up. I'm not set for Christmas at all. Even though everything out in the store is Christmas, I'm not set for that. But I am set for um, Thanksgiving. I found a few bargains. I already have my turkey. I already have my spiral ham. So I think I'm one, one up on everybody else on that. <laughs> Even though right now, yesterday when I went to the store, it was 99 cents a pound for butterball turkeys. I thought that was a pretty good price. I really did. But today, like I said, we're going to make, I'm going to make these cookies. And uh, I haven't made these in a very long time, but I like butterscotch. Uh, whenever you go to get like a um, hot fudge sundae, I always pick the butterscotch if it's on the menu because I just like the flavor of it. It's so good. So I'm going to start with my video here of um, getting you started with getting the butter in and then I'm going to go right into um, all the rest of the ingredients which are really kind of basic on making this cookie. You're going to need to set your oven at 375 and these cookies aren't going to take very long to bake at all and then they're going to be yummy. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back again. Um, I apologize for that. I took out just a little bit too much on my brown sugar and I think I know why it's because I was actually filling my um, little plastic container and got carried away on that. So what you need is just three-fourths of a cup of regular sugar and then you will need three-fourths of a cup of brown sugar and it doesn't have to be packed. So put that in there and then we're going to take two eggs out of my fresh, fresh, fresh little eggs over here and we're going to put that in the bowl because that's what's going to blend it all together are the eggs and the butter. Butter are blended in there too. Okay, and just stick that in there like so. I'm not using my tabletop mixer because this is just a simple little recipe. So just get out a little hand mixer of whatever kind. If you don't have any mixer in your house, do it the old fashioned way of doing it uh, with a wooden spoon. Takes a little bit longer, but not much. Not much at all. Main thing is just to get that butter in both of those sugars blended well. And it will. Just want to get it all real creamy. And as I've said before, rule of thumb is to do a good five minutes of beating on a, a electric or any kind of an electric mixer to get your sugars in there nice and blended. I'm not going to go the full five minutes because I can see right now it's starting to blend this one. Okay, that part of it's done. 
So now it's just gonna look like the mixture like so. Yeah. And now we're going to take some dry ingredients. So you're going to need one and one quarter cups of just all purpose flour. So put that in there. And then you're going to need um, a half of a teaspoon of salt. That in, salt out of the way. Then you're going to need, um, uh, where is it here? Where is my, it's a half a teaspoon of the baking soda. That in here. And we have some cinnamon that we're going to give it some nice flavor and it's a half on that. That in there. And then it is uh, the vanilla one teaspoon. Got my cheat sheet right in front of me. And then you wanna mix that in there too. And I'll go ahead with my mixer to get that nice and incorporated. I went to the grocery store because I needed some fresh oatmeal. Look at the box of oatmeal now. It's not even the same box. It is, but it isn't. Um, Color-wise, it's not. They just keep changing stuff. And you go to find something on the shelf, and it's like, where did it go? Where's the, where's the one I've bought for years, years, years? Well, there it is. It's just a little different color right now. Things are on sale for Thanksgiving. I haven't bought all of my stuff yet. I have my turkey. I have my spiral ham. I got that while it was on sale, but they're going to have other sales. So don't panic, close to your time, they will have all the things that you need. I kind of laughed that Butterball turkeys were 99 cents um, a pound at one grocer, and I didn't pay that for mine, I had to pay a little bit more for mine, but I got it early. You know, I got the size of the one that I wanted, and that's what I was after. That's what I was after. Okay, so you just want to kind of blend this all up now. Make sure that the flour is mixed in there. Looks like a real light, um, almost like um, gingerbread boy cookie dough. Kind of looks like that, only just a lighter color. Now that's what it looks like right now. And now you are going to need the oatmeal, just regular oats. Um, I, I don't recommend the um, instant oats. Just get you, you the regular ones because they're bigger. And I think you'll like that. A little bit more. So I said I had to get this this morning at the grocery store. I looked and looked for mine, but I thought, I guess I've used it all up. I don't know. Okay, and so for the oatmeal, you're going to need three cups of oatmeal. We can pour this in here without too much of a problem. Getting it all over the kitchen like I usually do. Because <laughs> I do. <laughs> so I do. Okay, so that is two cups. So this is a two cup measuring cup. And we want one more. One more. Yeah, I think he'll like these cookies taking hunting. I'm also going to make my chocolate chip pudding cookies. He likes those too. And later today, because we are having company later tonight, um, I'm going to bake what's called a marmalade cake. And I think that would be good. You'll need, this is an 11 ounce bag of um, butterscotch morsels. Stick all that in there. Oh, they smell so good. I like butterscotch. I really do. When you know, you go to a driving window that you're getting ice cream sundaes or something and everybody's ordering the hot fudge sundae or whatever. If they show butterscotch on the menu up there, I'm all for getting that. I really am. I just like the flavor of butterscotch. And also what I'm gonna add in here, I always have in my pantry um, some vanilla instant pudding. And yes, I should have put this in with a dry mixture, but I'm going to go ahead now and just sprinkle a little bit of that dry mixture in here of the pudding. 
And what that does is it, it's going to do just like what it did with my chocolate chip pudding um, cookies, is that it doesn't make the cookie that greasy. You know, when you, you have the cookie in your hand and you've taken several bites or even just one, and you lay it down on a plate or a napkin, and then your hand's just coated with, uh, well, it would be the butter is what it is. Um, I don't like all that feel on a cookie. So I like to add the pudding in there because it takes all that out. Okay, this is a, a dry mixture of a, of a cookie batter, but I'll get it there. Like I said, I think he'll like this, and I think they'll like this marmalade cake that I'm going to make here in just a few minutes. I'm going to go from this video to... When I'm done with it, I'm going to go right into making my chocolate chip pudding cookies. And then I might video the um, marmalade cake. I might do that for you. Because I know everybody likes to um, see the different things that I come up with. And you never know in my kitchen what I'm going to come up with. You just don't. Okay. So that's the gist of that. And then you're going to take um, a cookie sheet. Your oven needs to be set at 375 degrees. Take a cookie sheet, put some parchment paper on it. Um, I will see with this if I want to use this big scoop or whether, I'll just see what it looks like right quick on the, on the cookie sheet. I may just take a spoon because I, yeah, those are awfully big. I think I'll just take a spoon. You gotta experiment in your kitchen, you know, when you're making things, you really do. This needs to be mixed up a lot, lot more. I like to just kind of form it on a spoon. I have a smaller one of the ice cream scoops, but I'll just kind of form it like that. And we'll stick that on here. Get it going in the oven. You're gonna cook these for about seven to eight minutes, depending on your oven. And when I get it all done, when I fill this cookie sheet completely full, then I'll come back and show you what these cookies look like and I'll probably sample one because I'm getting a little hungry I kind of miss lunch with the errands that I had to do so I'm definitely going to sample that but these are the little Scotties and I think they're going to come out really really good I really do so I'll catch you in a few just eight ten minutes in here of cooking the cookies and then I'll be right back Cookies are out of the oven. I couldn't wait. I've already eaten one. <laughs> They're that good. They really are. Smelled my kitchen all up with nice butterscotch scent. That part is great. As you can see, they, these are a more of a flat cookie, like an oatmeal cookie would be. So instead of really kind of using raisins and nuts and everything else, just take you the sack of the butterscotch morsels. Change it up a little bit. These are so good. Mm. Mm hmm. I like these. I hope you've enjoyed my little video today. I'm showing you how to cook Scotties. <laughs> of the oatmeal uh, butterscotch cookies. Go have yourself a good day and bake some cookies, okay? From my kitchen to yours. Catch you next time on Cooking with Carol Diane.